Hey everybody, I'm Charlie. Welcome to a, a more casual experience today. This is like a city builder, uh, planet colonizer, if you will, uh, that takes a, a bit more of a casual approach and focuses more on the logistics supply chain management, uh, as well as uh, gives you a science system that uh, those of you who are familiar with games like Factorio will uh, be familiar with, I guess. Let's just jump into it and we'll see. I'm going to go new game and just leave everything in default and it will procedurally generate a, uh, a map for us. So I don't know exactly what it looks like or where anything is located before going into it. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause it really quick. The first thing we're going to see is that this is kind of like a is it obviously a, another planet uh it's uh, kind of a mars ish kind of place although they're not really i don't think specific on where it's located uh we have these various different resource deposits here there's copper all over this place okay this is copper central here we got sulfur uh located kind of out in the open here and then i'm looking for iron I'm looking for iron all the way over here okay now we can start our colony anywhere we want we don't have we're not limited by anything here um, we got aluminum is typically up on the top sides here, and uh, it's going to be a little harder to get to that, but that's kind of getting into uh, mid-game usually is where you're using that stuff. There's also some uranium up on this side. Uh, so what we're going to be doing first is we want to build a road that's near iron and sulfur. And we're going to kind of... Most of our construction and everything we're going to be building in the early game, especially, it's going to be heavily dependent on concrete, of course, uh, and like, get things, and then uh, iron. So we need we're going to need access to sulfur and iron. Down at the bottom, we see our resources. We've got concrete here, steel, our power uh, production and demand. Kind of flip from what you would normally think of, but uh, d supply is on the left, uh, demand is on the right. Um, and then we have our starting population, which is 20, as well as our default housing, which is 20. And so if we want to expand beyond 20, we need actually additional housings and habitats. So first we're going to start with a road. And there's a lot of different things to do with this, and it's a fully simulated traffic system and supply chain. So everything that you would be accustomed to, to a supply chain type of, type of game, that's what this is. Uh, so we're going to take a road and we're just going to go straight out this way, I think. Uh, maybe I'll start it in like two waves here just to kind of... Maybe actually we'll go about like this. Maybe we'll make a, like a curved road here. Maybe we can maybe we can do that instead. Maybe like a... I don't know. I don't want to really raise it up, but... You can bring it down about like this. Okay, so we'll we'll start with with this as our main road. Uh, it gets us out near the iron. It gets us over near the sulfur that we need, and then we can kind of maybe build our habitats and stuff around here with having a lot of our uh, resources. Honestly, starting over here might have been better. It might have been, but we can always we can always connect it up later. Okay, so first thing we want to do is start gathering the resources, the raw resources we need. These are miners. Uh, they will take workers, but at, by default, only one worker per mine will start because we only have 20 people. So we have sand, sulfur, and iron mines. So the sulfur mines, we're going to put this in this deposit over here. I think we'll start with three. Start about like that. Notice they need road connections. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, take a look at the iron supplies over here. We're going to get, I think, three iron. Let's do two iron mines for now. We don't really need a whole lot of it, so few iron mines like this. This is a gridless builder. I'm usually, I'm very appreciative of gridless. So uh, this, is, this is nice. I like this. And we're gonna connect this road right there. It's gonna hook this up to the traffic system there. Um, for over here, we'll go ahead and I think we'll make a road that goes straight this way and then maybe heads this direction from here, let's say. Okay, now I still have the bendy road tool on. So this is, it's going to start bending my road so that it can work that way. And now this is invalid. But luckily, the game comes with a really nifty move tool. And you can move anything in the game you want. So I'm going to take this. And I can move it here. Take this. Move it over here. And just like that, it's completely done. It does take a little bit of resources to do that. But you can move anything in the game anytime you want. As long as you have the resources to, you know, spend on it. It's usually cheaper to uh, move it than it is to tear it down and rebuild it. We're going to need... Uh, Sorry, we did sulfur here. We're going to need sand now, too. And I think I'll go ahead and put the sand on this side of the road. We'll go one, two, uh, and three. So this is going to give us basically three of each of these, and that's what we need to create concrete. Concrete needs sulfur and sand to create concrete. We currently have 279 of this, so we're going to have the concrete supply, I think, 
happen kind of along this area, but this is going to end up being a very big road, like a very main road. Uh, because of that, I think I don't like this anymore. I really don't like this anymore. So we're going to take and just tear this down really quick. And then we're just going to move this road real quick to just kind of, yeah, maybe it lined it up just a little bit better there. There we go. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, slap this. I'm okay with this being on a diagonal, to be honest, but uh, I'll slap it in like that instead. Okay, we're going to head off that direction to do things too when we start talking about copper as well as connecting all this up. So that road's not a waste. Uh, okay, so for concrete, I think uh, we're going to have this road go off this direction. And then why don't we go ahead and just have the concrete factories be here, 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 and here. We'll start with four of them for now for the supply. It only needs these resources to create it, uh, but it also needs power. So before we run out of concrete, let's take a look and make sure we have power. Right now, we're looking at wind turbines. They generate 20 megawatts of, megawatts of power. That's more than we need at the moment. Um, and then we're also going to need to connect them to various different power, uh, well, power consumers with these power poles. That's going to be five concrete apiece, which is pretty expensive. Uh, and we're going to have to go a pretty good distance here because of where we are. So for the start, I think I'm going to have my power generation happen way back here. And the game doesn't really model wind so you can place a wind turbine like right here and it's completely fine i don't particularly like that uh but until it models wind this will work so we'll place that there now notice it has a orange uh circle that is not its area of effect that is its area of uh, efficiency so if i cross the streams if you will if i cross into this area notice how this gets a little bit less efficient so i need to make sure that the circles do not touch each other so for that reason, we're going to have this second one be over here in this area. We don't need it yet, though. So let's hold off on that and take the power poles instead. Now, you might be wondering, well, if you know the poles are going to be expensive, why not put this in the middle? Because I have other things I'd like to put in the middle and I don't want to move it later. So we're going to take this one time expense and everything is going to be fine. So we're going to have this go this way. And then we can expand it and extend it all the way down to this area. And I'm gonna probably keep it pretty close to the chest here, probably like this, and then bring this over like that. All right, and then for over here, these are already connected in. So what I've done now is I've connected everything up to this power grid. And the cool thing is as we expand, I'm gonna let it run now. As we expand, I can also use these existing poles to just create new networks. So now as long as I have power producers hooked up to the same line, everything will be connected. So this is not going to be a waste. You'll see it later. It's, it kind of all fills out at, in the end. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to let it run. We have sand mines. They're operating at 67% uh, efficiency. Some of these probably aren't. 33% here, 33, 30, 67, 67. And that is because of how many workers they have. Now we also have all the supply and stuff we want to keep and manage of and eventually storage in these buildings is going to get full so i'm also going to place a storage facility uh, i think like i want to say like right next to this but maybe on this side is fine place a storage facility just off this road notice how as i bring this closer to the road it gets this little path right and that's going to determine where the trucks come out so if i want the trucks to come out on this road over here, which I do, I don't want it to come out of the main road, um, then I need to make sure that that is in a position where that happens. So I'm going to go about here with it, I think. And that's going to be a storage facility that's going to store all of our access stuff. It's also where the trucks are going to come out and go where they need to go. So um, this is like the basics of getting concrete operational. We're going to start generating concrete now. And I kind of like that. We'll see how it goes with supply. It's possible that will fill up the storages. And if we're overproducing, then um, we can we can take more consumption, right? So how do we know this without watching it? Well, over on the left, we have the production overview. And this sort of shows us all the resources that are currently relevant in our civilization. Uh, so we have power producing this much. This is our production. This is our consumption. So we're overproducing power. That's good. Uh, we are underproducing sand. So we need to have more sand. So I'm just going to go in and grab sand and just be like, okay, hey, look, uh, how about this right here? There is now a, another sand mine. And it can go to town on it. 
Now, of course, it doesn't, it's not all lined up. And if I wanted to rotate it, I could, but I don't really care. So it's just going to stay there. And it is powered. If I take a look at the power overlay, which is visualizations power. Somehow this is powered and I don't understand how. I'm actually not understanding how I, why that's powered right now. I thought it wouldn't be. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe I will move it around here. Let's just, let's just rotate it. I kind of, I started to care. Okay. I started to care, but now by moving it, yeah, it's still in, it's still, yeah, it's still in power range. That's weird. I didn't expect that to happen, but all right, cool. So now if I go back to my production overview, we can see that I am now overproducing sand. I'm also dramatically overproducing sulfur. Uh, so we need a lot more sand mines than sulfur mines. They're just simply the resource we just can simply consume differently. So why don't we take and make uh, some more, let's do two more of these concrete factories. And we're gonna run out of workers here too. So maybe actually, instead of doing that, why don't we talk about habitats and stuff? So people need a place to live you have to be able to get to work and stuff too. So we're going to make a town, I think, where people are going to live, like right in this area. It seems good. There's not a lot of resources in this area to get in the way of. So this seems like a good place for habitats. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take basic tap, basic habitats. Uh, no, first thing I'm going to do is make a road. So take this road and we're going to go, let's like, say, here. And let's go down about this far. For now, about that far. That's just going to be the straight road. Then, what I'm going to do, maybe I should have went out this way. Nah, it'll be fine. What I want to do is I want to see how big the habitat is first. So this is a basic habitat. Houses eight people, and it takes 10 concrete. And I think I have enough room to do what I want to do here. Yeah, I do. All right, so we're going to start with, let's say, here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a space, and um, that will become evident over time, I think, as to why I'm doing that. Um, I have the road head this direction or I think so. Yeah. So we're going to have this go about like this. Yep. And then the road is going to be like this. And then I don't want it to snap like this. I kind of want it to, to go a bit more free form. So, uh, let's go snap angle off. Yep. Here we go. And we'll just kind of go about like this with it. Yeah, we don't need to go that far yet, though. So how about we just pull back about there? Okay, so we got a couple of a couple of these. I'm gonna make this road go like that, just so it's connected. Um, maybe I should do this on the other side. I'm trying to figure out how to get the power to run straight down through, and I think I'm figuring out a, a new solution. This is a different solution. Why don't we do this instead? Move this habitat to be here. There we go. Yeah, and then we can just go down the middle. Maybe that's the way to go. I'm trying to, I was trying to get creative with it. I obviously, I'm not trying to like be optimal and efficient and all that stuff. I was kind of trying to get creative with it and it's it's failing. <laughs> Falling flat on my face, okay? Which is pretty much how things go. Uh, let's take this, this, and I am also intentionally leaving a gap between this and the road. I like the way that looks, but also I'm gonna update that road later and uh, it'll look better if I do this, I think. All right, so we're going to have about this many people. All right, this is a lot. Way more housing that I need, and I'm sucking down the concrete, but it'll be worth it. So I'm going to take off of this pole, go here, far out as I can, right about here should do it. Almost, and got it. That'll provide power to all of these buildings, okay? And then as we bring the housing down further, I'll be able to just have this keep going down the down the strip here these things also require oxygen oxygen is treated like any other resource in the game you don't need to plummet all right you don't have to have pipes and stuff to bring it and stuff like that it is simply hauled in in canisters just like everything else uh, so I'm gonna take and put in let's say on this side of the road we'll go maybe here this ought to be fine right about here and here Maybe one more. Probably need two here, actually. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go with four. Because I'm going to use it for other things too. Bring that down and bring this down like that. Okay. So what's going to happen here is that these are going to start processing, and I think I'm almost at my cap on power. Yep. 
these are going to start processing you know the atmosphere and all that stuff they're going to generate o2 and carbon and of course that is these are resources that have to be transported places so as they generate them trucks will spawn out of these buildings and they'll have to be taken to these facilities where everybody's going to live okay so they have their own local storage tanks and they have to be refilled think of it like a gas station except in this case it's an oxygen station basic habitats require oxygen to basically just be there right but they're not going to level up until you provide them with survival food so oxygen is the demand that they have now is the sorry is the requirement survival food is the demand so you can see as we get oxygen these oxygen trucks are going to bring it in there and it's going to fill up the tanks right and so you don't you want these to always stay full if for some reason you're not meeting their basic demands uh they might leave so you want to keep things going you're trying to i don't know, make a company out of it right the construction storage is there too storage is really underrated we need a lot of storage um I might actually put storage back here maybe like right back here I think I might just just a real quick storage right here just so we can store the carbon and everything that's being made but the other thing I want to do here is I want to also start getting work on science before we do that though let's get the final structure that we need in order to be really self-sufficient here or to really start getting things moving right now we only have 20 people and you can see there's not enough workers we need a spaceport this is 150 concrete and this is where people are going to come into our civilization and say hi this is where they're going to ultimately uh get off the bus if you know what i mean so um i could put this basically anywhere um they'll spawn here and then they'll travel where they need to go um and i'm thinking i kind of don't want to occupy this space with it so i'm going to put it like right over here on the corner and then they can kind of get off get off the ship kind of like that yep and then they'll just sort of go wherever they want to go from there so here they are i know they kind of started flying in before i even placed it immigrants ready to move in there are 10. high immigration rate because we have attractiveness for this many uh, and also their demands and stuff are very low at this point so they're very excited to start living in the new world so as they immigrate the cars will spawn out of here and they'll just head down and start living in the habitats now as we proceed with this we're going to start leveling up take a look at the city level as we get more citizens we'll start leveling up in this case we have 20 we need to get to 22 and that's mostly just saying hey you just need to imp import some people you need to get some people in here um, so that's going to allow our city to level up when we level up we start getting the option to engage into new types of structures and all types of things uh, one of the things we need to do is start researching so that we can get uh, additional buildings you see all these different buildings here that are grayed out well obviously they need to be researched just like any other game but this one's a little different if you're familiar with uh factorio then you'll be familiar with how the science system works in this kind of we're going to generate blue science green science packs yellow science packs and red science packs and they all get generated from these buildings based on certain inputs and to the output um, and then they all get processed here at the research lab the first input is iron and carbon well these are generating carbon which is getting stored here it's going to start being stored here anyway Ooh this adamantite hmm. i don't know about that one are we not getting enough hang on are we not getting enough of this why are you just lying to me that you're really hang on let's make sure that you're actually connected here let me make sure you know what? it's probably a it's probably a worker thing i added these buildings and some of the people who are working here are probably shifted so that's probably why i bet as i get more people this will all be fine we'll have enough concrete then all right so i'm waiting for people to actually get in here and i'm not noticing like they're not doing it so let me see if there is anything else i should be doing here maybe i need to move this really quick if i move that will you guys come in maybe it was bugged or something i did place it while the ship was flying in so maybe it was just borked let's try it again I mean, I'm wasting resources here, but I want to try it again. So let's place it before that thing flies in on the animation. Let's see if that helps at all. So there should be a ship coming in. Somewhere. They should, they should just work. They shouldn't need me to do anything here. 
Um, I'm going to get another power producer while I can. It's going to be over in this area. Right about here. 97, 98, 100% efficient. And then we'll just get a power pole from here and we'll connect it. Yeah, we'll go like this and then connect it to here. And that connects it to the same grid everything else is connected to. And so now we are producing uh, 40 out of 19. And you can see right there, these pink cars. Yeah, it's working now. So I didn't see it land, but it's working now. So we got pink cars. That's new people that do not have uh, a home. So they are going in to work. There they go. They're going to live here. Okay. So now the final thing to do is to build a research lab. There we go. So um, blue science packs. We could start by getting those produced. And I think I'm going to start with having them produce maybe here, uh, here. And I think maybe we can go with three for now on these labs. Just stretch this out a little bit like that. And then I kind of want this to... Well, you can see it's not straight. And maybe I'll adjust it to where it is. But I kind of like the organic feel of it. I don't... I, I mean, I'm okay with grid builders. I don't have anything wrong against grids. Um, but I do like the organic feel of the grid list. And look at all these cars coming in. These are all the iron trucks that had nowhere to put their iron until I placed this down. And now they can store their iron here and get processed into uh, the science. So now I need a research lab. And we can place that research lab, I think, right here. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to have the road go... Let's, let's, maybe pick, let's place one more right there. And then we'll have this road go that way. Does it fit? It certainly does. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have the, the research center be on the on the edge here like this. Okay, so all these are going to get processed here into the research lab. And now that generates science for us so that we can facilitate research projects. So let's take a look at what we can research. Currently, it's telling me to do farming. That's what we're going to do first. We're going to take a look at this tech tree. Right now, we're considered an outpost. And farming is the simple technology we can research. Uh, so we need that. Let's do that. Now, as we proceed through our outposts and we get our things upgraded and stuff, get more people in, we'll start upgrading to settlement. And that's where things start to get uh, interesting because then we can get steel being made, start making electronics to make home appliances. Um, we start improving our existing wind power or getting solar, which is what I want to get to. Um, and, and there's like a whole bunch of different supply chains to make this is very very easy compared to the rest of the game um, because the rest of the game is all about upgrading these the entirety of the game is all about getting people here and getting more people here um, and then upgrading your town basically you want to upgrade everything so these basic habitats they only store eight people and when you fill them up with oxygen that's great um, but now we need to give them survival food if we want them to upgrade so we just researched farming and that's done so we can take this simple farm i'm going to place this one simple farm right there these actually produce quite a bit of food um, and these guys don't really consume that much so i'm thinking probably this is enough to, to cater to this many houses but just to be safe and since it's pretty cheap we're gonna put another one in right here i also have enough room for one right here if i want to later so those can kind of be jam-packed in but these are going to generate food, and when they deliver it here, the basic this need, this demand, this is the need, this is the demand. The demand starts starts to get met, and um, then they'll be start to get upgraded, and they can they can house more people. Okay, so we need a new science project. So let's talk about. Um, we can't do these yet because we haven't upgraded ourselves. So let's take a look. Um, we will need to be. We need to have at least five level two citizens. So we have to upgrade these in order for us to continue our research. Eventually, we're going to get to more luxury things, like they're going to want parks and stadiums, and they're going to want more complicated things, like they're going to want to have, uh, well, yeah, home robots. Yeah, they're going to want their own home computers and home appliances and stuff, right? So well, the next stage of this is to start catering to all these different supply networks. So if you like this game, please give it a like. Uh, give the give the video a like, and uh, if you want to see more, you gotta let me know in the comments. Um, That's how I know what you guys like is uh, what you guys. Ultimately, I know what you guys like based on views, but uh, I know what you guys like when you tell me uh, as well too. So 
here's this uh, all the way I'm just gonna expand this a little bit because we're gonna start making iron and that means or sorry steel that means we're gonna need more iron eventually anyway so we're gonna add another two iron mines here as well and that's the consumption of our power so why don't we get ahead of it a little bit and we're gonna just embed this into the rock I guess <laughs> it's so silly that you can do this but yep you can totally do it and then we'll just get you to come out and hook up there like that. There we go. Oh, no, you don't let me? Building is colliding with something, oh, so it won't let me. How about this? Is that acceptable? No? Okay, so you won't let me do this. I guess it's not as ridiculous as I thought it was. Uh, let's go like this then. There we go, okay. Way more concrete than I needed. Current population is 98. We have housing for 100, so we're almost full on our houses, but we should start to see them, yes, get close to leveling up. Our survival food is getting delivered. And you can see, like, there's trucks going all over the place. They will not go through each other. They wait. There's a traffic system. Um, you have to manage your traffic flow, and it gets very complicated. Your roads can get very busy. The latest edition of this game... Um, finally, the tutorial is done. Um, the latest edition of this game has added trains uh, and has improved those trains even. So uh, I'm looking forward to working with those too. If you've uh, followed me at all my workers and resources series, highly recommend, it was a lot of fun. Um, you'll know how much I like trains. <laughs> okay, so I think what I want to do first is we're gonna get started with steel and um, you can't switch once you've started it, unless you off click it. So like click once, and then click it again, it will turn it off. But what you can do also is Q. So I can hit this, and then I can Q this if I want to. That puts a two next to it. Then Q that, that's three. Um, and then let's do green science, that's four. Home appliances, that's five, etc. And you could do that stuff, uh, which is really nice that you can Q. I, I really appreciate it when games allow you to set yourself up for the future so you don't have to micromanage it. it looks to me like I have to go this way with it. Let's go about like that. Should cover that building. And I think I'm gonna also go like this. Hang on. Just to make sure this is all covered as we move this direction as well. All right, steel mill is unlocked. We can start making steel. And the steel mill requires um, iron and carbon as well, just like this stuff does. But I want to have this off to the side. So we're going to take and have you go this way with it, that road. Uh, and then I'm going to put the steel mills over here. So we're going to have, say, I'm going to turn it this way too. So we'll have one steel mill be like here. And then a second one will be right here. And a third one can be right here. And that should provide us with all the steel we need for quite a while. Because um, we're not going to use steel that often. But notice how this is a major traffic jam right now. All these guys are coming out of here so that they can get into here. And that's not very effective. Certainly not efficient. So what I'd like to do instead is we're going to set up storage. We want local storage for this stuff. So we're going to go about like this for the iron. And we're going to set up this road that goes this way with it. Okay. And so now these guys will continuously, you know in a more spread out over time fashion, they will continuously bring it here so that when I lay buildings down that need this as a resource, the resource will come out of here instead of coming out of all these mines and clogging up the road. And I can facilitate this even better by connecting that. And now a lot of these trucks will instantly reroute themselves to the most efficient path, which will be over here. And so now everything will hopefully unclog itself. Some of these trucks will end up going into here too. You see some of them are just like on their way to storage, I guess. Oh, did they already drop it off? I guess they already I guess they already dropped it off. Now we also need carbon delivered here as well, and that's what we're making over here. I like this as a road straight across. And you know what? We might want to make this look a little bit cleaner. Let's move this road to be here instead. There we go. And so now we have a more direct route for the carbon to be brought over here as well. We're gonna need more carbon though. So let's go ahead and process more. We'll have the processors be like this and like this. 
and one more like there and like there. I like these driveways, all right? I, I, a lot of people are going to snap into the road, but I actually really like the driveways and how they do that. Let's take a look at our houses. These are level two now. These are decent habitats. They hold 10 people. Now, we need to provide oxygen and survival food just to maintain it. That's their requirements now. But their desires, their demands are home appliances. And that's what you need to now provide them in order for them to level up. So that's our next step, isn't it? Let's take our power. Bring that power out to about here. Can I bring it out to here? Yeah. Right there. Is that's great. Um, although this is probably in the way for this road continuing. So maybe not. Maybe we'll bring it here instead. It's fine. Um, and then I actually think I want this road to go straight across like that. Mm -hmm. And then let's move this just a little bit. This will be fine. Uh, I would really like it to not snap. It would keep snapping though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't have, I have the angle snap off, but it's fine. I'll turn it back on right now. Okay, so we are making steel. We are making blue science. Lots and lots of blue science packs. Okay. Um, let's take a look at our research. Steel production being done. Now we need solar panels. That's what's cued, but we need green science in order to do that. So I can't do that. Let's click that off. Um, and so this is just the blue science. Just the blue. Just blue. Uh, and then we start with green here. Uh, not there. And, and here. Yeah. So we'll start with concrete roads and then solar panels. Um, and we're going to need green science packs for that. So let's take a look really quick at what we need to create uh, green science. Actually, no. We need to research green science in order to do it, right? Yeah, green science is the next research. Um, so once we get that done... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. 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 Clearly, we need to remove congestion here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to change this up a little bit. We're going to move you to be right here instead. Right behind these guys. Yep, right over here behind these guys. And then we're going to make the road go from here to here. That should solve the traffic problem. Some of you will probably go that way now. Some of you might probably go that way now. That's what I'm counting on anyway. We'll see how that actually works in practice. Probably doesn't work at all. Probably not. Um, the other thing we could do is set up additional storage, right? Storage is nice. We could set it up on this side, like maybe here. And um, they can bring their access here, which can then be offloaded into here now. I'm going to put the green science, I think, right here. So why don't I move you if I'm able to? Oh, I can go there. That's fine. Um, I can put the green science pack places right here. So let's take and do that. Green science there and there. Okay, science center. Good. Uh, so the green science, in order to do this, we need electronics as an input. So I need to actually create electronics. So let's take a look at that. Um, copper, I think, is required for electronics. And uh, electronics are done. Yep, copper mines. So we need to get copper in order to make them. Here's the electronics factory. We take iron and copper together to create the electronics. So the copper is over here. And iron, of course, is here. So what we could do is let's bring this road over like this. Something like that. We can create our copper mines. I think we'll probably go... I'm gonna make a lot of like you need so many electronics like as many electronics as you think you need just double it and you're probably okay maybe so we're gonna take and make like a whole lot of this here 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 and yes we'll need more power i think this will be good right there so what we'll do is we'll have this road go up this way and then I want storage here for all of that. And then I want power for all of this. We'll go with 100% efficiency over here. Oh, wow. Can you? Can I really? No way. Yeah, it'll, it'll totally work. <laughs> uh, it's so silly. 
Uh, and then we're gonna take and go like this. Like that. Uh, and then we can connect this also, this direction, and hook it up to this grid. And now the whole thing is hooked up to, its, to itself. And that's 80 out of 79, perfect. Okay, good. So all these copper mines, they're gonna deliver it here to the storage, and then that storage can deliver it elsewhere it needs to go. But then we can create a second area over here, let's say where we just have a ton of electronics being made all over the place. So we can go about like this. And we just go, I think, uh, we can come down a little bit here. Let's try, let's try going up like this. Uh, we'll make another road on this side. Yep. Of course, we need more power for this too, so. We'll, we'll start with this many. And don't, if you're wondering like why I'm positioning these like this and spreading them out like this, don't worry, there's, there's a reason for this. And it's, it's gonna make sense later, I hope at least. If it doesn't make sense later, then it doesn't make sense later, but I think it'll make sense later. Anyway, um, let's add a couple more habitats as well because we're actually at our population cap and that's limiting our efficiency. We don't have enough workers. Yeah, we don't have enough workers. So let's keep going with this here, this way. And then I think I'm going to make a road right through here. Like that. Mm. Maybe like this for extra space. I won't need space on this side. It's fine. There we go. Uh, and then we take this power pole and we just kind of go straight over like so. There we go. Provide power to all these guys too. Uh, okay. Power pole from this side. Uh, we can come off of think off of this pole uh, this should be okay yeah and that provides power to all of these guys uh, and then I need an extra power producer which is gonna be over here for now and then I get that point I'm set up and ready for solar later we'll go about like that with it and then we'll bring this like so okay good so that's our start, right? This is this is the start of it. And you can see we need more sand too. Looks like we need more sand. Is this sand or sulfur? Sand, we need more sand. I can also see that from production overview too. It looks like we're gonna need more sulfur and more sand. Desperately more sand. So uh, we'll go sand mine, we'll go like that. Um, I'm also gonna probably build another one like this. Yeah, I could probably do kind of don't want them to hit each other just graphically so i'm probably gonna set it up like this yeah this is fine and then we'll have this road kind of going like this there we go and then maybe this road can go straight this way and this way and then it just kind of meets up with it over here i don't know it could be a thing in any case, that should help that. And then we could do one more sulfur mine since it's a little light there too. And that's gonna have to be over on this side. So we'll go here and we'll just place this like so. Now, we gotta move this. Uh, let's move it like that. No, I hope I didn't, I don't want the bendy tool. Yeah, yeah, the bendy road tool is, is nice because it makes the things look cool, but it has a tendency to mess things up like that. Uh, okay, so electronics are being made. It's not enough workers, but it's being made. I'm hoping to solve that problem with the extra housing that we've got. We can also expand the housing this direction and this direction. So this whole thing right here ends up being like a massive housing area, which is pretty good. That's what we want to have. So we'll do the same thing here, 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 here. And we just keep doing this. Yeah, and then put another one behind it this one two three four five six seven and then uh we'll have the power is almost Can you fit right here i was actually kind of hoping you could but you can't it's fine put you here instead 
Or maybe we just bring it down. I think bringing it down is probably a better fit. Bring this over and then bring this up to there. There we go. And then we can put another another thing for food. Probably need it now. And then we uh, get the power down here, right? That's what we need to do now. Hoping it would fit between this. Yeah, it does right here. Okay, I want the power to be like right here. Can that just work? I think it does. Yeah. It's fine with me. Sweet. So now we have housing capacity for 258. We currently only house 123. We have 209 jobs. So as long as we keep our housing capacity to match our jobs and we provide for the needs, uh, everything should just flow and work really well. They do have to get to work, but... Uh, they got a little bit of a trick, uh, a trip here. And actually, I could make this a shortcut by going like this. That let them in to the place. All right, so they can they can get there a little quicker now. And then eventually, I could even mer merge this over. I could even do that. Like, say, right here can go straight to like this. I don't know where it's going to end up being. Depends on the housing, but... You know, it can connect there, right? And then this road just keeps going straight too. So yeah, that's the start of it. So if you like Infraspace, let me know in the comments. This is our, this is our start. Things are looking okay. We're producing just enough power to get by. Um, our population is rising. Our amount of concrete's rising, steel's rising. Everything is rising, which is good for the beginning of the game. You want everything to rise. And hopefully... Yep, a hundred percent, hundred and sixteen percent efficiency. Ooh, green science packs being made. Huh? There you go. Concrete roads are started, so we are making the green science packs now as well. And um, in order to upgrade these, we need home appliances, and home appliances are made with con with iron and electronics. So can you guess where we're making the home? Can you guess where the home appliance area is going to be? I'll give you a massive hint. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like Infospace and want to see more, make sure you tell me that down in the comments as well. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.